And here they are. That's the start of it along the river. Shrine has invited people to become sponsors and volunteers by waddling, or in this case, jogging through Riverfront Park. Alcatif Shriners have been doing this duck race for our hospital and for a fundraiser for over 20 years. And it's been an event that brings people down to watch the big duck drop into the river. And we looked at the event as something that we could be more involved with to help them get more people down to, the, to watch the duck race. And it's something that we could maybe do to bring a community awareness um, activity to their event and adding on to um, create uh, more of a community event for our hospital. This is the only event that we do that's actually created by our hospital for our community. And it's great for community awareness, it's great for um, fun, and it's really um, looking at a way that we can partner a little bit more with our um, temples. Um, what we've done throughout the year, this is our fifth year, and what we've done is really added on. So we have our 5K run, which is how it was started, and now we're adding more activities for families to do. So we have a family fun fair that the kids can have face painting, or get to go in a fire truck and climb around, or do fun games at, um, after and before the event. So we really are just trying to bring um, activities and people and family and friends down to create um, interest and excitement about the duck race, but then also do something fun for the community. Every year at the Duck Water, you see a lot of uh, uh, f familiar faces, you know, whether it be uh, Shriners or employees, but the neat thing about the, the Duck Water is you see a lot of new people as well. And as the word continues to spread in the community, you see more and more folks, more and more new faces. But, uh, you know, if I'm a new person coming down there, it's an opportunity to not only uh, uh, greet and meet some Shriners, but to talk to some employees about you know what we do. So it's a kind of a neat opportunity. Not only meet you know employees, but uh, meet some Shriners. I think for me, being a patient parent, um, because my daughter's been a patient here for a very long time, um, and we've loved the hospital, loved everything they've done for us, and then to become an employee and see on the back end that it's as amazing as a facility, as an employee as it is, um, as a parent and as a patient. Um, and then these extra things like the duck waddle to be able to um, have my child, who's a patient, be able to volunteer for these kind of activities with me has been kind of full circle. So she gets to feel like she's giving back and um, we all just get to enjoy the day with friends and family. What I liked about the Duck Waddle was the opportunity to spend time with my whole family. Um, my kids are various ages, but it was an activity that we could all do together and everybody had a good time. So all of our temples support us in a lot of different ways and El Katif is our local temple and they do so much for us and we couldn't be more grateful for that. And this just helps us to develop those relationships and support them while they're supporting us. The duck race that they do is a fundraiser that um, they um, contribute money to our hospital, support our kids and our mission. And this is the way that we can help them help us. The duck waddle, you know, certainly one of the key things it does for us is awareness. You know. It helps, you know, uh, folks that really may not know a lot about us in the community uh, uh, to really understand what we do. They may have heard about the Shriners, but may, may not really know that we're out there and that we have a, a threefold mission. But so, as far as awareness goes, that's probably one of the key things for us is spreading the word, letting people know what we do and what we're all about. My daughter, being able to watch her volunteer for Shriners at the Duck Waddle has been amazing. To be able to see the look on her face and how proud she is that she can finally give back um, and be a part of, of something that has to do with Shriners outside of the hospital itself. And then in turn seeing all of the um, Shriners and everybody that recognizes her from being a patient, she just lights up because they recognize her and they'll you know, talk to her about being a patient, you know, while she's volunteering, and so she loves it. They were excited about this year's Duck Waddle. They um, had such a great time last year, and my oldest is pretty competitive, so he liked the opportunity to actually kind of test his speed and um, compete against his sister. 
Well, I think that everything we do is just so amazing, even during clinic hours. And then to be able to um, add it to it on the weekend and include my family and my friends, you know, so they get to see what we do and how fun it is and how amazing it is. Um, it just, it's no, it's something that we all look forward to actually. It was fun to get out of kind of the work setting, but still spend time with, you know, people that I enjoy spending time with, um, not just at work, but outside of work. And it was for a great cause. Amanda Perkins knows the importance of Shriners Hospital. It was a blessing to have them take care of it for free. So now we do everything we can to help give back to them and support them. Shriners treated Amanda for double scoliosis. She used to have a 52 degree curve on the top half of her spine and 39 degrees on the bottom half. Shriners fused Amanda Perkins' spine at no cost to her family.